During the 1800s, many people from different countries were trying their luck at a new life in the quickly developing United States. These immigrants were seeking a new life that was free of poverty and suffering. They hoped that the conditions in America were better than the ones that they had left behind in their old countries. They came in by the thousands and were eager to start their new lives. They were coming in so quickly that the population of New York more than doubled in every single decade from 1800 to 1880. As a result of the population increase, the immigrants were forced into cramped, disease-riddled apartments known as tenements. Entire families were put into one single room. These conditions gave way for quickly spreading disease and numerous people died. In some of the tenements, the infant death rate was above 10%. The life was a terrible one, and some people realized that and came to the conclusion that life in the tenements needs to come to an end and that the immigrants deserved a better life and better opportunities. Jacob Reese was one of those people and decided to take a stand against the living conditions that the immigrants of New York had to go through. Jacob Reese was born on May 3rd, 1849, in Reeb, Denmark. His parents were Niels Edward Reese and Carolina Reese. Reese immigrated to the U.S. in 1870. He came to America with nothing but $40 and a locket that contained a hair from a girl that he had loved. He went through many jobs upon first arriving in New York. After a while, he got a job as a police reporter for the New York Tribune in New York City. He worked mostly reporting on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. While working this job, Reese did many reports on the slum conditions of the tenements of Manhattan. He used photography as a way to show the people of New York how much of a problem the conditions of the tenements were. Reese married two times. His first wife was Elizabeth Gortz, and they were married until 1905. It is unknown when they married. Jacob's second and last wife was Mary Phillips, and they were married from 1907 until 1914. He had many children. Jacob Reese took a stand by using many different methods. These include writing, photography, and lectures. These helped Jacob Reese to become a man that made a difference. He wrote many books such as How the Other Half Lives and The Children of the Poor. He took many pictures of people living and working in the slums and the sweatshops. Reese's lectures were to the crowds that he could gather where he would talk about his beliefs toward the conditions of the slums and the tenements. While working as a police reporter, Reese learned of the large number of people in tenement housing. Reese's disgust in tenement and slum living conditions motivated him to utilize his photography skills to make a difference. His camera became a tool, and he used it to take pictures that generated awareness among the rich population to help them notice the terrible life that was lived by the immigrants of New York. He used the resulting photos and his writing skills to write a book called How the Other Half Lives. Jacob Rees had a true passion for photography. He taught himself how to master the art of taking good-looking photographs and basically taught himself all of the necessary skills to become a photographer. He would take his camera with him every night when he went out and would take pictures of people that were living in the slums. When it got dark, Dries utilized the newly developing flash photography technology. Reese was a writer of many books aimed at the social reform that the tenements needed. These books included The Children of the Poor, The Battle with the Slum, and The Children of the Tenements. One of his most famous books was How the Other Half Lives. This book is intended to show the rich population of New York the living conditions of the slums and tenements. 
This book was successful in accomplishing Reese's purpose to show how the other half lived. Another method that Reese used to get people to notice the living conditions was by giving lectures. He would take several months to travel around the United States and would try to gather crowds to spread his overall message that the living conditions needed to change. In 1901, Reese was able to retire from his police reporter job and get a primary source of income from his lectures. He was very good with his words and even have a first-hand account that of what life as a poor, struggling immigrant was like since he himself had experience as a struggling immigrant in New York City. In a San Jose, California lecture, Reese had stated if the story of one plain immigrant lad helps you to look with kind eyes on one little unfortunate lad, I shall think my words well spoken. Jacob Reese died on May 26, 1914 in Barr, Massachusetts. He died at the age of 65. He became one of the first American citizens to use photographic documentation to make a change in society. During his life, he took a stand against the living conditions of the tenement housing of New York City in the 1800s. He did this by utilizing many different methods such as photography, lectures, and the writing of many books. The Tenement House of Commission was created as a result of the work that Reese did. He took a stand for the immigrants that had given up everything to get nothing. In conclusion, Jacob Reese was a national hero. Reese took a stand by taking pictures, writing many books, and in this way, speaking out. This very much helped the rich population of New York realize how much of a problem the tenement conditions were. He was a leader in speaking out against the conditions that had to be endured by the immigrants of, in 19th century New York. He was a man who took action against what he believed was wrong. He used many different methods to get his message across that the life in the New York tenements was insufferable.